Pedro, Pedro Cabrera, which is going to deliver us a fabulous uh, talk. Good morning, everybody. My name is Pedro Cabrera. As a short introduction, I have been working for the IT sector over the past uh, years. I was always focused on the striking area of radio frequency. Today, I want to tell you how you can hijack drones. We are struck by the fact that over the, 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 the past years, drones have evolved so much. Uh, ideas, projects uh, from the United States that are taking over in our reality, in our everyday lives. So, I research about a drone. This is my, my latest update and findings about the, the, the drone I, I research about. Very firstly, when I started focusing on the, uh, in the in my research, I put aside certain well-known attacks. So all area regarding the, the jamming Wi-Fi, uh, jamming attacks, connectivity uh, attacks, and exhaustion, aircraft the auth and MIDI KE attacks had been put this way, had been focused on reverse engineering the protocol of communications in such a way that these flowed packages that are exchanged on both sides and in between clients, I, I need to know how to read it and to inject it back to the drone to be able myself to hijack it. Obviously, when I started working on this area, I had ethical concerns. Am I going towards the right direction in this hypothetical case scenario I'm trying to investigate? If all the instructions are taken over from and by um, enemies, th this would be beyond my control. So last year, in May, I. Um, offered uh, Mr. Parrot the possibility or the, the chance of collaborating with me. I don't want any kind of uh, retri retribution. I'm simply sharing with you what I discovered, period, before it is published all over the world. Because what is affecting the, the reality is not about one single drone reality is the AP. The API is really vulnerable with several drones, models, and this is applicable to what the, they call the um, AR drones DK3. The Bebeth 2 and the mini drones are based upon this uh, instruction you can see on screen to be remotely controlled and driven very briefly. Uh, this uh, drones manufacturers has been working for over the past six years. And they, uh, they were doing uh, demos in the boarding gate at Airports. It was presented uh, at the Vega, Vegas, United States, in 2010. It's, it's very similar to the Bebeth 2. The drone generates its own host pod access point. They had been creating drones over the past five years with no inconveniences or um, setbacks. The physical part is very similar. Very, very briefly, the, the skeleton for the AR drone 0 0.1 in 2010 until today, very, very little changes. Only uh, change the battery increase, the Wi-Fi is attack. But the, the, the so the skeleton of the, the drone is still the same, dating back to the very first one in 2010. So the a AR drone could uh, be remotely controlled. It was published in the um, in the guidelines that through AP commands you can send over and signals and instructions for you to control the, to the drone with JavaScript applications, which is well known, especially because they did a drone to hack drones myself, uh, a drone uh, overflying, uh, checking and absorbing others' Wi-Fi from other drones, and this drone hijacked the other drones. The very first um, thing about um, hijacking an AR drone, one day security analysis began to study an AR, an 
our drone security. You can see on the screen that the, 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 the programs I use. The very first attack the, the, is an open Wi-Fi. I connect myself to the Telnet with no credentials, with a key to the process governing the drone. It is, it's like splashing. Everything collapses, and the drone goes down. Uh, this this um, drones hacking drones that they, they, they um, oh, went up the um, the wine apple with the um, drone pan since from a fountain to collapsing the air drone down to earth. I, I saw that very recently in the, the death calm last year, uh, Brian Sutterfield. Sorry, because I, I cannot remember the, the second one. They published two uh, attacks for Bebo. The very first one you can see apps on, is, is the Telnet open, no credentials act. So we do a kill to the process we find. This is for Bebo 2. The other attack is about expelling the uh, the client. Is 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 authentication client attack. We don't want to, to get the hands that we want to expel the legitimate uh, client and we connect ourselves to the drone. This is called hijack for um, for some people. When I'm talking about hijacking, for me the term hijacking implies that the original pilot does not know anything about that. We use the original commands to send it to the drone, and the pilot will be seen at the, his station, the very same image, and he will think he's uh, still interacting with um, his drone without knowing that he's being attacked. If his uh, drone is used for um, wicked purposes, we can't claim any kind of evidence because the only evidence we're going to leave in these attacks, if we are doing a right attack, is the, is the IP period. This is the only logs within Linux, the Linux running and booting the, the drone. So all evidence will be vanished into thin air. Very short, very short introduction. No, now I, I got the, the B Bob drone generating its own Wi-Fi network. What on earth? Hi, how the, did they do it? This can reach until two kilometers with a sky controller. Very firstly, did they do the very same thing? Of course. This is the capture. This is a nap shop. Uh, open Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi and, and network, the IP chains, nice um, 42.1 Wi-Fi. I'm root inside the telnet. So let's see what happens. I want to understand how this drone is made up of and see the enumeration of hardware and processes. It's a Linux, it's a kernel. Um, 11, 11, the gigs with this, as you can see on the screen, the space is devoted to pictures and the most important partitions from manufacturing and the APS. With the uh, booting commands, this is the, all the information we need. The name of the machine, the bootings, all the booting scripts which are running starting the devices. This allowed me to create this map to, to, to get the whole picture of how the the drone was made up. We can see the um, GPU, the NAND flash memory with the Linux. We also have all the control part of a civilization and the magnetometer for the drone to know what, what the direction is moving. We can. We, we, I saw some um, pictures of the devices, the controller for the, um, the, the, the engines, and the chip um, GPS, and the chip Wi-Fi. Drones are only uh, flown manually, where the pilot is sending commands th through the Wi-Fi, or um, automatically, automatically, where the drone through GPS follows the route we had been sending remotely in an automatic mode. GPS is spoofing attacks. There is a Chinese guy um, working with um, this. I'm showing now. This is the starting point of my research. So 
Uh, I saw what was inside the B-Doctron, the apps inside the, the operating systems, and so on. Now I need to analyze who is governing and ruling the drone, who is behind the scenes, how is it is controlling. The Dragon started has to do a lot of um, to do here. They saw a dragon by tracing uh, it once uh, consuming most, most TC in the built-in strings with this configuration file. It's clear these are the adjustments. These are the adjustments within the application. You can see the maximum altitude, the inclination, angle, all these adjustments. And last of all, this is the, this is the clue that shows me the route. A default uh, port, 54321, a default port, and four, three, two, ten. So now let's trace it and keep it track. Fr the traffic from the the traffic from the the client you can see on, on upstairs the the Simon fighter. Uh, my snapshot. I did a, a network discovery going to a um, fixed port. They exchange a JSON. This is the um, the client saying um, this is the port. This is my controller name, and my type is an iPad. Drone um, answers back with this uh, flow of information in blue, and then it's confirmed by the port. On the very same trace, I saw how it looked like, because this is F FTP, period, of plain acceleration memories, uh, besides the JSON and F FTP, the, the Rest of the traffic is UBT. Instructions should be in this uh, board UBT. Next step, let's analyze very quietly these boards. These, these sequences shows that on ASCII, we can see the date of the date. I, I rushed to do it in April last year. The, the, the date that date was sent from the client to the drone, but the drone is not connected uh, on the internet. So the client is sending and updating the, the drone itself. So I I took the, the four instructions, not in an order, uh, interwoven, but it, it was striking. There was uh, the date and the date again in another instruction. Uh, the, the, the drone to the, the client and drone to the client and the client to the drone, firstly with the date and then with the hour. It was a principle, thanks to the fact that mm, there's nothing obfuscating me about here. Com compressing and compiling this information is easier. So we got a um, milestone to start our investigation. So I uh, s hope to find a, a log in the uh, drone allowing me to um, sequence the captures my eyes is what I can see in the, the visor of the capture, the snapshot. When in the very beginning you are blind and you see U, UDP uh, boards and sequences, you want to start uh, the entry point, the vulnerability that allows you to go inside with confidence. Do you remember uh, I, I show you a Terminator picture in, with the dragon um, and the Sikasifi? I don't know where this is coming from. In my head, this is check command. The check command. This is the command should be there. B and B I is the way. Who is going to open the beam file? Let's open it. I formatted a little bit with the XNAM to uh, trace it and trap it and drop it, and, and um, this gives. This is my milestone. This keeps me alive. He, the the, the syslog redirected from the machine onto this file where the commands are inserted. Here I, I, I found the JSON. This doesn't correspond with the previous one. This is my mobile phone. These are the very same commands from Aquarius, status, starter, command, uh, command, uh, command driver, and the date. This is what I saw in my uh, capture and snapshot. 
this allows me to follow in parallel the Wireshark QDP um, sequences with this file and I identified some more um, boards. Uh, I can do it. I, I can make it. I got the very first sequence. Once we correlate the commands with internal states and lock, it's clear to identify packets, structures, and fields. 0B, uh, th the date sent uh, from the client to the drone, I'm confirming that I received the, 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 the date, the hour, and all the products part. I, I will, sh I will uh, send you my product name, my serial number, my version HB is um, the booting. Uh, running of the computing the computer uh, in the drone from which the re remaining commands will be coming the level of the battery was included in this text file which is a short sequence of characters and the way the, it was codified was to the percentage value translated into hexadecimal value the battery is um, 44 it's easy to follow Moving forward with more captures, we took for one down zero for frames. The rest of the frames is extremely long. So instead of using these techniques of looking for locks in the operating system, I prefer to look for statistics. Statistically, statistically speaking, it's easy for you to find out a pattern that um, identifies patterns of behavior, the number of frames, the, the direction, addresses, client, drone, drone, client, the very first byte. The first instructions, 0406, was, uh, were very astonishing. It looks like um, family. The second byte is similar to a type of instruction. Statistically, uh, analyzing the whole theme, the number of in, in instructions was 0A, 0B, Siri, they're only two remaining zero B. So when I switch on the computer, then once the drone is uh, reconnected, I can exchange some of them. This is the case of this session. It was an intermediate session. The 7A counted and until 700 and so. There were more instructions inside by doing these techniques. It was easier to identify that these were repetitions, a frame retransmission. I don't know when the second byte is zero or one. It's a retransmission. It, it, it retransmitted frames at the application level. Equally, I went to details, into details. Um, different details send me the whole count and let's uh, measure one by one by analyzing the whole sequence and to identify the patterns you know what this said you can put it on um, in text mode uh, like, like like this I have removed certain parts the ones removable and the ones variable and the fixed parts were identified in such a way that we know a structure of instructions with the uh, variable longitude in the fields and the type of instructions. You uh, carry the number of uh, repetitions that allows you to see what is happening. In the captures, I keep it quiet. I know no commands of instruction will be here. All these commands will be status commands, but if I didn't fly the, the, the drone, I cannot find any uh, flying commander. I also found uh, on Parrot uh, uh, an open movement. Let's, I was about to say open source. They wanted to, to create a, an open source movement for Parrot, um, freedom them as a key. By fr liberating and freeing and then releasing the, the code, you can create uh, examples for Unix and oh, SDK for Unix. My goodness, I'm going to compile them. The, Client for a Linus, some information in between. I found these headings defining the type of instructions um, emergency video and updated with you know, decimal numbers. And of course, in the Linux client, the commands send in the sequence of movements to the drone. By playing around with these sequences, I identify the commands. Which one is move? Uh, 
50 steps down up right left with minus or plus this uh, allows me to create the final table in blue all the commands with uh, the sense um, client drawn the very first byte is the family the second byte is the type of instruction and in green those from the drawn to the client this giving me the architecture of the instruction how the, the, the family the type and they've counter for every type and family a longitude telling me that the whole longitude and length of the instruction an absurd instruction or uh, an instruction where information is variable I'm pointing at the, the level of the battery this is the part of the it's telling me the level of battery and here the level of battery I so I, I wrote data in some, in some cases the machine status or the status machines uh, when is um, uh, Landed is a state zero as I'm interacting with the drone, the um, status machine evolves. If it should be interested in um, fashion as a reverse engineering, our fabulous concepts, and this was the entry point for the fashion, fashion to the, to, to the drone. The drone, is, let's imagine the drone is, is flying, and I'm sending this, um, this thing. Oh, the, the drone would have been crazy. When um, I was very, very advanced, I went to the mountain valleys of Navasarada, the mountain range of Navasarada. In the in the dam of the mountain va uh, range of Navasarada, I sent it over there to see what happens. I sent the, the consort paper, and in November, Bebop 2, November 2015, Pirate announces in San Francisco. I was so lucky. Uh, Bebop 2 versus Bebop. Bebop 2 is almost similar to Bebop 1 with the same evolution as the AR drone SDK3 back in 2010. But the rest of it is almost similar. The kernel is not open by default. Pressing on and off button, but still FTP is open. But this, this infusion, this uh, pion fan, in the JSON, I can see that there was an increased two ports for the streaming part, which is a, a big change from version one to two. The, the, the hardware is changed to a different GPS chip. Functionalities are the same. In between, the build two reversed. I knew the whole family as instructions. If you spend the whole um, day in the kitchen with an uh, activated drone, by sharing the same number of uh, instructions, I got a sumo fighter to play around with it without destroying the bibbit. This is it. This is my conclusions I can, I can draw. With a lot of time in, in, uh, spent um, through statistics and with the uh, Linux clients and by isolating events, I was able to identify the sequence of taking off the command um, telling you have to land. When I'm, say, I'm saying knowledge, in this case from client to drone, drone will respond with a vibe uh, zero one. I receive it. You can do so many things. Uh, returning home, begin stream, all stays, emergency stop, adjustments, exterior. I can uh, set up the, the, the Wi Fi. I can calibrate the altitude, the longitude, this set of instructions, which can be variable, and I can. E introduce modification uh, in the up part uh, it, this is statics in down is um, is, um, is variable these are commands I'm pointing are the um, flying commands move the, the, the camera right left move forward move down with the, the step 15 events status the person to shut the remaining battery and the, the drone is reporting all the time the speed, altitude, velocity, 
Sumis is smaller, so it's, it's, it's more restricted, with little or inferior commands. It's not the same, but the way of codifying the instruction is the same. When AIP and binary protocols became the standard for all your family, Sumo fighter commands reversed. And video frames injection, I will focus on two main aspects. Uh, so what's clear that we have uh, the commands and the management of the initialization theme. I was lacking the video frames starting by uh, zero 07, sending by drones to the clients. In the small fighters, the frames are of this um, as extension with this heading constantly maintained. Every frame you'll see it in the captures, frames zero. Three seven um, occupied so many many bytes, which means that if we inject a friend zero seven three into the client, th there will be a re incondition. If my friend gets my client before I'm sending to the drone, well, what you see on the screen is my frame. I can inject it in onto the drone. For BBO two, we can do so. The problem comes from the fact that we have a, a different code. It's not ratio one one. It's a different frame, and things are complicated. And the proof of concepts I brought to you today are simple to understand. Is an attackable, easily exploitable. Through other techniques, we can inject VD, video and images in the drones. What happens with the GPAs in, on manual mode? Uh, there are so many controversi controversies because um, they said that the uh, automatic mode in the drone was not available in the application. And last Christmas, for the very first time, they released this uh, application, with, I can't remember the name, that allows me to uh, design the, the route. I touch the plane, the drone um, takes off, and it follows the route I um, created. Please raise your hands, those of you who have a BIP of one or two at your homes. You don't need to buy the application because it costs uh, 10, 20, 20 euros. Drone can be flown automatically with the functionalities by following a route. It, the drones have this ability, but it, this is done by an editor. If you like to move it around the, the, the drone with this uh, route, you can do it with this program for free in a very easy way. By you through FTP, um, a drone has um, three FTPs, uh, 51, 53, and 54. The, the, the 51 with images and videos, and the other one for the freeware, and the 61 for, for roots. We upload a standard video and file, the Maglin down with the, the waypoints of accents, with the altitude that the GPS coordinates, you upload it through FTP. You sent over um, these commands on GPS and drone follows the route you uh, described without paying for, uh, for it. The firmware up the injection. Uh, the firmware is injected, as you can see on the screen. This is the um, uh, Cross uh, captures, sending um, uh, file uh, and the five. Oh, the, the funny thing of checking the, the integrity of framework before sending the command about uh, updating yourself. Um, if you don't send an, any MD5 through FTP to the 55, you send the firmware, and this is it. It updates, it updates automatically. If you want, want to create your own firmware, you can use the AR drum uh, tools to create a specific firmware. Now, packed injection, let's inject them. I did in reversed engineering with all the instructions. I want to hijack. I need to interact. You know, escaping as of today, escaping, escaping, um, um, brushed up on my skills. Escaping does not do any kind of um, check ins. You, need, you don't need to, to falsify the original I, IP. As it, it, that's how it looks. You, we don't need to decline sports. We don't need an ARP a spoofing attack with this kind of uh, schemes. And we can create the, the testing. We are so elaborated that I'm going to show you now. It's very relevant. 
This is a real attack. We got the command on the payload. Uh, you insert the instruction. You only need to bear in mind that the counter commands um, have no interaction. Here we can insert what we want. You, we can create a buckle, buckle for uh, with this command knowledge and the remaining um, 55 packages will be working at least one of them i'm sure the um, this commands the 040b is slightly complicated through the say, states machines if i insert a superior value to the one the drone is using uh, the drone will state in an inconsistent state not obeying neither the the pilot or ourselves. We can create a, a man in the middle poison. We can keep the counter or the, you, you leave the, the, the account uh, as such. So few commands, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, there will be one moment we get the right value and all the commands will follow with no problem at all being executed correctly. <clears throat> this is PowerPoint, let's see it, Part drones all yours still belong to us. You told me you have a Bebo. Please, can you come on stage, please? Vamos a Voy a empezar con el con el sumo, vale? So let's proceed with the demos on stage, my friends. We're arranging, arranging the preparations. Please, just a sec. I forgot about the Wi Fi. Please, please, Pedro, don't kill anybody. I promise. A promise is a promise. So far, so good. Please hold it. This is Bibub. Oh, you bastards. You put it the, the, the other way around. Uh, you put it on this, you can put it on the, the table. I'm going to hijack it. So let's launch three things at a time. In one go, very firstly. You can see on screen now. Guide, as such. But why does not allow me to, to have the the the, the, the quizzes? Size rated issue. Oh, this is the, the Murphy's Law. They're talking about the login procedure to access this protocol. I'm sorry. There is no environment of variables applicable to this. Of 
course. My goodness. Please, just a sec to recover my uh, cursor. Please move it around. A picture, a photo. Background noise. Oh, is this the oh stick stick fried? I'm not connected now. I'm sorry. Sorry for this inconvenience. Now I'm connected. I'm freaking out. It took everything. Guide. Please try it on, on my manual mode, please. Manual mode. Try now. Let's try. Let's just try. Let's see if we can watch the video. Should they have trouble um, just on the any curses? Thank you, Roman. Background help from the floor. Did somebody is is trolling. Uh, my presentation from the floor. Just in case, a few variables I had, but uh, let's try now. Try to connect to it. Surely. Now you're connected. So far, so this is the video injection at last. It was the IP problem. Sorry, sorry for this inconvenience. Sorry for this this delay. You you saw it. Let's let's try to launch it again. I'm seeing on this terminal the video injection. I don't know if you're seeing. We are on five gigahertz. Uh, this, this has to stop um, creating trouble. This is more visual. Let's now send uh, the battery clients over. I'm now sending. This is the the alarm of low battery. And the signal of battery is is to line. Uh, we got 100% battery a moment a while ago. I'm injecting the alarm of low battery. At the same time, I'm injecting video. This this noisy peeping is the drone. My drone is 100% battery, but the, this, this falsified peeping noise is because I manipulated the commands. Peeping again. We're flying for the very first moment. Let's try now. Uh, damn it. Let's inject control commands. Damn it. You can see now my, um, my, mine. I would like to know. Sh sorry. I'm going to um, check out this. Just a sec. I would like I would like you to to see. Is 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 a bathing suit? It was summertime at my place, at my room, with my furniture. Okay, it's complaining about the um a, the AP of the photo.
the API from this photo. Please um, skip it. Skip it. I didn't know what it was about the, the anchors. Let's move on to Biba. I hope you're going to have. Um, I hope you're going to be more lucky than before. Does not access to the file or the directory. Does not access the file. Now it's working. Now it's working. Now it does work. My God, I'm happy. This is moving. I'm sending it over right now. Please show it. Show show the screen how long it took. Buster. The interface with some memory. The case that the, the pretty good. Now it's asking me that the counter value, which one I want. This is a knowledge. Now, two, two. It's working. Now it's working from then on. Now I'm able to inject at last. I had a bad time. Thank you very much. So, we can control the exposure. We can take it anywhere we like. We have lots of things we can do. I'll try to take a snapshot of this room. Smile, say cheese. Go ahead, say cheese. Photo. I've been asked by the organizers not to damage the screen. So we'll be careful. Can you go back and reset it? That way you get rid of that alert. But we need to connect first to the drone. No, this is crystal clear. There's nothing wrong with it going that way. You need to hug it. If it goes backwards, no problem. Watch the screen. So I'm closing that in the meantime. Maximum height is two meters. Move up and down only. OK. Sorry about the speed. What I'm doing is starting the Wi-Fi connection for the drone. By default, as I said, it is open. And obviously for you not to uh, hack it too much. There's a number of scripts which will give us uh, WPA protection for that Wi-Fi with MAC address filtering so that no one can connect to the drone. I'm loading that before it flies just to be on the safe side. Roman, no me mate. Vamos bien de tiempo. Vamos, cachondo. Cago en la leche.
¿Estoy barrena. Ya, 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 ya. Si es por no haceros esperar a todos mientras veis. I just don't want to make you wait. Pero que no me estoy troleando ninguno, porque estoy... I hope you're not trying to hack me, because I'm connected already. No, 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 no es problema del dron. Not a problem with the drone. It's okay with the iPad. Vale, es lo que está pasando. Un segundo, a ver si es que no lo ha pillado. Lo voy a dar para allá. Para habilitar el telnet... Hay... To enable telnet, you have to press the button four times. I thought I had pressed it. Okay, there he goes. That's it. We're all set. Connected now. Do you want to take off yourself? Do you want me to do it? Do it. <laughs> Bueno, lo mismo, ¿vale? Ese es el mismo interfaz. Ahí viene. Same thing here, same interface. You see the commands for motion, takeoff and landing, everything. So the first thing I will do is to calculate the counter bite. I'll take a picture. When I take the picture, it will ask me about the bite that I'm creating. I'll say six. If we don't see a picture, we do see a picture. I got it spot on. First time round. It will download the MP4. It will take some time to do that. And then I'll start spoofing a little bit. Try to show an alert. We can send that. I've just sent an alert on low battery and on engine failure so that they get nervous. And those two bars for the uh, battery. If you take a close look, I'm also injecting the position data. Bear in mind that altitude and height are change, uh, altitude, height are, and direction are changing. I've told it it's zero. Can you hear the alert? And then I'll send a command to make it land. It's downloading two MP4 files. I don't know why it's taking so long. Cuidadito, cuidadito. He dicho arriba, abajo. 
I said up and down, remember? If that happens, it's an emergency. Always remember that. Still downloading those MP4s? Tarda un segundo. <laughs> Lo siento. Bueno, ahora te lo estoy subiendo yo, ¿vale? He abortado. I'm bringing it up now myself. See, you see that slight movement? I'm controlling it myself. I can move it to the front and make it come closer to my comfort zone. Emergency stop. Let me see about the acrobatic jump. Let me see if I can inject it myself. That's it. That's mine. It's me from now on. From now on, we can send any command. Now I will try. To, I will try to make it land. Not with your hand. With your hand. I'm sorry you cut yourself. While Shulman recovers from this, I hope it was clear how we injected commands. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about the uh, time you had to wait. Uh, the uh, part on GPS, you see how I make the drone, the drone land on my uh, laptop. So I take it here. The drone is on the back in the background. Can you see on the screen? We're seeing that video and streaming right now. Can we get rid of that second screen? I'm not sure. No, the other way around. Can we show the computer screen? VGA. Otherwise, I'll just leave. So we start right from the beginning. So I connect the drone. The drone has landed now. Obviously, in a closed environment, there's no GPS. The first thing I will do is to calculate the bite counter. I'll make it take off and land. I made it land, I made it take off. And now I'll inject the attack. We use FTP to send that little file with the GPS coordinates. And you'll see that uh, it will know automatically where to land. It knows about the route, it takes off, it starts moving, and it lands on my laptop. Bueno, ese es el resto del video. <laughs> well, that's, that's the rest of the video shooting. Can we perhaps go back to the presentation now?
just to finish off, as I was saying before, I don't like making um, a drone fly with an open Wi-Fi network. If we go back to the presentation, I don't know if it's my computer, whether it's in suspension mode or something. wanted to say thank you. That's it. Protect your drone. Okay. I'll I'm including here two URLs. The first one points at the script you can use to protect. I would recommend that you leave it in the uh, data partition. The HCP was failing, IPs were failing. It's usually much smoother. It goes much faster than this. It will change the name of the Wi-Fi network. I mean, making a drone fly with an open Wi-Fi network with the same name as a drone doesn't make any sense. So it will change the name of the network. People at Parrot know about this and there is a big discussion going on. They say that the performance and the connection uh, slow down when we use WPA. But it's up to you. Uh, you have to strike a balance between uh, security and uh, a smooth connection. And then we have the communication protocol, which is also at your disposal in that little text file. So thank you very much for being so patient. Uh, a couple of questions before uh, Roman gets his hand back. We, we have time, okay? Are you covered by your insurance, Roman? No questions? I do have one. My apologies. I freaked out. Enrique Iglesias thinks the same way. Don't worry. There you have it. Did you find commands to modify the parameters of the Wi-Fi network? Yes, of course. You may change the channel. If you mean spoofing the commands, yeah, what I included in the last slide, you connect using Telnet, and you may change the, the startup script or the Wi-Fi network. You need to modify that. If you inject the necessary lines for password or whatever, it is permanent. Otherwise, you can go to the user partition. You can launch it whenever you like. So, so it's up to you. You make it. You can make it fly in uh, free mode or in protected mode. A question on kidnapping. You are using your parrot drone in the park, and you know where the customer is. Because the parrot itself hasn't been positioned. It is the client that tells us about its position. No, it's the drone that carries the GPS. The drone knows where it is. So by knowing where it is, you give the route to the drone to make it go to your place. Yeah, but I wanted to go away from the typical attacks. I mean, attacks like these, there's millions of them. Parrot has a major uh, presence in social media. If you go to the website, you'll see that there's a, an area called Drone Academy that tells you where pilots are. It tells you where they are, where they've been flying. So I can get the drone from someone, attach an explosive to it, and then throw it at anyone I like. Yes. Two miles away from you. More questions?
Okay, now I'm going to faint. Thank you. <laughs>